Yosef. Welcome to the Villiers. It's a Sunday evening. And we just got through watching Father Mark on EWTN, which was, well, it was Father Mark. What can I say? Uh, Marita went through all the trouble of making a wonderful lasagna here. And This is always such a task, and it really shouldn't be, but it is. Hold my plate. So there you have it. Maria's lasagna. We haven't had this in quite a while, so it's kind of a celebration just shopping for it today. At a yellow. Not much though, that's a, that's a big slice. There's so much cheese here. It's very cheesy. So. Two different kinds of cheese. There's Marita's piece. It's kind of all over the place, but that's the way it goes. We're going to be eating lasagna for at least a week now. found this excellent wine from Chile, from Casiero del Diablo, probably the prime vineyard in Chile. We only paid 580 pesos for this. When I was shopping in the wine department, there was a wine from Berenger in the Napa Valley, same grape, only a year older. They wanted 1,600 pesos for it. So this wine from Chile is a thousand pesos less. Where's my fork? You still got EWT and I hope you don't can't hear it in the background, they're reciting the rosary. Marita usually watches the rosary every night. Either that or the NBA playoffs. talk about the warriors quite often. We never see them, especially now during the playoffs. So it seems like a couple of years have gone by since we've seen any Warriors games, which is a shame. The vineyard for this wine is Concha y Toro. Concha y Toro. If you see any Chilean wines at Trader, ba Trader Joe's, look for Concha y Toro.
pretty nice. Very nice. Just as good as a Behringer for over a thousand pesos less. first because the dentist first started out she gave me around four shots that was bad enough then when she began the procedure of actually pulling the tooth it was too painful so she had to go back in with the needle and shoot me up at least two more times By that time, you'd have thought that I would never feel that needle, but I felt it. At any rate, the tooth is gone. My gums are healing up quite nicely. She gave me some antibiotics to take twice a day for seven days. Watch the mass from EWTN, 8 o'clock at night on Sunday to so during the day on Sunday we buy roasted chicken for the guards at the front gate and the back gate. That's our celebration. We enjoy it as much as they do, to be able to afford to do something for them. The cards are all new, because Marita said the guards that were there before, two, three weeks ago, we're fooling around with a lot of the maids here. Either that or the maids were fooling around with them, one or the other. But anyway, those people that sit on the sit on the board and run this place, they put an end to that. They hired all new guards. So now, the people that we give chicken to on Sunday, it's a big surprise and a big celebration because I'm sure there are not too many owners in the videos who do that. Say hi to Stephanie. Look in the camera and say hi to Stephanie. Am I part of the thing? You didn't even say hi. I didn't even see them. Very tough. We're having a pro we're having a good time making the lasagna thing. We just two of us were eating all the time, so we didn't have any any guests or anybody. But I guess it's kinda you know what I can't really find any um uh, the, the the sausage that I like to be put in put in the lasagna. So I use the uh, Hungarian style shit. It's kind of a little spicy. Can you take Can you tell it? You like it really little spicy, huh? How come it's spicy? From what? From the uh, uh, 
sausage that I use, oh. it's a it's a Hungarian. I usually use the other one, Italian. I can't find any Italian dressing. I mean, okay. sausage. So. You go switch. I think a lot of people like it. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's always nice. It's a little bit. Spicy. By mistake, she bought some spicy sausage for the lasagna. That's okay. But that was not really. I thought Hungarian is always. Yeah, I think. I'm the drinking up of this good chili and wine, it won't matter. So after we give the guards our treat this morning, we give to the front gate guards and go to the back gate and give to the back gate guard. You give two chickens to the guys in the front because there's four or five of them working here. You give one chicken to the guy in the back because he's by himself. So they're very grateful for that. And like I said, these guys were new guards, so they didn't know what to expect when we rolled down a window and handed them a couple roast chicken and some fresh bread from the bakery. So we kept going out the back gate, going across the bridge to Yella, which is civilized today because it's Sunday. Sunday, everybody relaxes. Most of all, the people who are driving. Got to Yella. Marita went to Abaca and ordered the veggie scrambled eggs with salmon and ordered me a cold calamansi drink. So we had that and we headed off the coffee bean where I had my double cappuccino, extra hot, with two sugars. They're the people that know best how to make a cappuccino the way I like it. Much better than even Starbucks, actually. I think coffee bean is using, for me, a better bean. I don't know what Starbucks is using, but it's cheap and it upsets my stomach. Yesterday, after Dr. Carvajal pulled my tooth, we went to Abaco to order some lunch, some burger from Marita. Of course, I couldn't chew anything. You're for me. I had a gauze plugging up two holes. Dennis ended up pulling two teeth, the molar, and the one further back next to it, it was just a small tooth. For the remnant of what used to be a bigger tooth back here, it broke off a long time ago. The actual pulling of the tooth wasn't so bad, as you know. Because after pulling the tooth and getting out of the dentist's office, it was going to really start to hurt. So when we got to Abaca, it really gave me one of her Tylenols, extra strength. And I took that Tylenol plus the Calamansi cold drink, and it seemed to make the pain go away by about half. Well, we did a little shopping to manage to get back across the bridge by around two o'clock, which if you were here, you'd know that 
if you can avoid at all getting across that bridge, if you can avoid getting across over after 2 o'clock, you get across before 2 o'clock. Because of the traffic. So here we are on a Sunday. I sat down at the internet. I didn't have the heart to do any data, Google Data Analytics or SQL or Python. It seems as though when I take a day off, it's good for my mind because then I'm more motivated to go back and try to learn something new and that's what, that's what it's all about. Every day I go back to these lessons and it's always something new. But the data analytics course is the basic is the basic course for them all. When I took data science A to Z a couple of years ago, Google had not had their certificate course ready to go. So I had to try to take data science first. But I got a lot out of it, but it would have been easier had I gotten the language R on the Google course first.